I want to introduce to you a planet that, well, is getting a lot of attention. I'd like to introduce you to Sedna. Now, Sedna is a supposedly a red, reddish color planet. Uh, and this is out of uh, Colorado uh, CU, Colorado University of Boulder. Um, this is very interesting. So remember the term collective gravity, not planet nine, not planet X, may explain the orbits of detached objects. You see, the whole thing is, is that astrophysicists, astronomers, they know that the Kuiper belt is vast, really vast, big. And there is just a lot about our solar system that we just don't know. So imagine this. Let's say you are, remember as a child when you would go to the county fair, you would have the bumper cars. Always loved it. You know, more people came back from whiplash on that than any uh, Friday afternoon, huh? So now imagine that on the edge of our universe, you've got this mass of debris, objects. And out there, you've got some really potentially big planets. However, the contrary to that theory would be, well, what if you had a whole bunch of small little objects that decided to pile all together? And then, once they got all together, they began to make a rush for it. And then they met something that uh, hit them. It could be anything from a gravitational field of a star or other things that you then have this collision. Well, a group of astrophysicists from Colorado University uh, came up with this idea, and it was one of the students there, and they were looking at this whole idea about, and I'm sure that Planet X, Nibiru, played into it. I mean, as much as science doesn't want to have to even acknowledge that, the reality is, is that they do have to acknowledge it. That's the problem. So getting back to Sedna, it's 8 billion miles out there. That's a long ways to be away from home. And scientists cannot explain why Sedna and a handful of other bodies at the distance they are and separated from the rest of the solar system are still in orbit around our sun. One theory suggests that as a yet unseen ninth planet lurking beyond Neptune may have kicked up the orbits of these detached objects. But Madigan and her colleagues calculated that the orbits of Sedna and its ilk may result from these bodies jostling against one another and space debris in the outer solar system. The outer solar system is still a mystery. We don't know. It's just, we don't know. As long as we've been able to see with telescopes, and particularly what I would call in the modern age, we just don't know. So what they've come back with this is that there are so many of these bodies out there. What does their collective gravity do? Startling thought there. Who would ever thought that gravity could also be collective in nature? Now, that is out-of-the-box thinking. So they went in and began to do uh, the models. They began to ran, run the models and see what would happen. And 
sure enough, it seems like there could be, in fact, some validation to this theory. It goes to say that once you get further away from Neptune, things don't make sense, which is really exciting. You see, even in our own solar system, our laws of physics and our so-called perception of how things are supposed to be, there's a group of scientists that say, well, now, wait a minute, not so fast there, bucko. Um, there is a lot more out there that we don't know. And so what they did is that they went in, they built this, and they say that they, among the other things that don't make sense about Sedna is that this minor planet takes more than 11,000 years to circumnavigate Earth's sun. And, as, and is a little smaller than Pluto. Unlike the original ninth planet, Sedna and the other detached objects complete homogeneous circle-shaped orbits that bring them nowhere close to the big planets like Jupiter and New Neptune. So the question is how they got out there on their own remains an ongoing mystery. I believe our solar system has had a much, much wilder time, and I don't think it's over. I think we're only in like, you know, a lull. And if it should begin to pick up again, who knows what will happen? And so as they continue on with this research, to think that now you could have potentially large groupings of these exoplanets, these smaller planets, and it could have tremendous tidal effects on gravity on our sun and even on our solar system. Yeah, it's amazing times we live in, is it not? So next time you hear a conversation about Nibiru, Planet X, or whatever, you can now add this little bit of knowledge to your war chest. And imagine that, that you can come back and say, people say, well, now it may not be a planet at all. It may be a large conglomerate of much smaller objects that when combined present a formable force of gravity on our solar system.